welcome to this live session by Ecoholics for the UGC NET December 2023 attempt. I hope many of you are here who are preparing for the next June 2024 attempt or there are some people who have already given this attempt. So this session is going to be useful for both kind of audience. Even if you are the one preparing for June 2024 attempt or you, are prepared, you have already given December 2023 attempt, this session is going to be useful for you as well. Because in this session, you will learn that what mistakes you cannot make in the next attempt you're going to give. If you have to clear your exam, what strategies you need to adapt in this uh, next attempt, which is going to happen in June 2024. So, yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Good evening. So now I'm starting. I'm starting with this discussion session where I will be talking about the UGC net December 23 paper, how it was, what kind of questions were there, what should be your strategy to tackle all those papers and how you should be preparing for the June 24 attempt of UGC net examination. If you were the one who gave this December 2023 attempt, then uh, how was your performance? We will analyze that and uh, we will also help you to prepare for the next attempt if you are willing to give that. So you will be learning about all the mistakes you need to avoid in the future attempt. And you will also be knowing that what was the paper, what strategies you need to build. So when it comes to UGC net examination, UGC net examination is a very important uh, examination. If you are willing to go into the academics line, when you are willing to become a professor, when you want to go into the teaching or if you per wish to pursue PhD in the future time. So, uh, a lot of candidates, a lot of students are preparing for the same examination. Hence, what should we do in that case? Since it is very important, a lot of people give higher cutoffs are being coming. How do you need to prepare for clearing the cutoff in one attempt? or in the next attempt. Even if you have given your previous attempt, what you can now do, which will make a difference for your next attempt and you can finally clear your exam and can be very happy, can move forward in your uh, career, right? So your career development is the most important thing for us as well as you, right? Okay, so how was the paper of 23? Over the past attempts or over the past time, like if we look at the last three papers which have been given by UGC net for the economics candidates, there is a slight change in the question they are asking. Earlier, it used to be very direct. It used to be very much theoretical and we never used to find the numerical questions like very rarely you would find like two questions or three questions, maximum five questions and all of that. But now when it comes to December 23 attempt, it was seen in the paper that a lot of uh, portion was coming from the numerical part. A lot of things were coming from the numerical part. So when it came to econometrics, when it came to statistics, when it came to uh, mathematical economics, a major portion was being observed there. So the one thing which is very evident is the changing trend of the paper, the favorism going towards the numerical portion. Now, when it comes to the students preparing, majority of the students are always uh, struggling for, uh, you know, doing the numerical portion. 
द मेन रीजन वाई दे कैन नॉट क्लियर यू जी सी नेट एग्जामिनेशन इज दैट दे आर लैगिंग इन दू इन न्यूमेरिकल पोर्शन दे आर स्ट्रगलिंग विद मैथमेटिकल इकोनॉमिक्स दे आर स्ट्रगलिंग विद इकोनोमेट्रिक्स दे आर स्ट्रगलिंग विद स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड वेन नाउ इट इज बिकमिंग द मेजर पोर्शन ऑफ योर पेपर हाउ डू यू नीड टू कोप अप हाउ डू यू नीड टू स्ट्रीम लाइन योर प्रिपरेशन दैट इज समथिंग आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इन दिस सेशन ओवर ह्योर और राइट सो The first thing is, if you want to talk about, if you want to uh, do a lot of numericals when you are attempting the paper, the first thing you have to be very careful is, unless and until your concepts are not clear, you can never attempt any theoretical or any numerical question. Even if guess can be made in theoretical questions, no guesses can help you in a numerical question. And when This year we have observed that the numerical portion was over and above fifty percent. The guess can never help you. So that the old strategy of uh, just making guesses because it's an MCQ paper, just having an idea of the concept and attempting the paper is not going to work anymore. So for the next attempt, you have to be very careful. You have to be very much. Uh, you know very much ready with the preparation of concepts you have to uh, clear your concepts you need to do a lot of practice of the numericals so when we always talk about education we say that when we are reading theory we need to use it in practical lines only then the uh, the purpose of education is solved so similarly ugc net now is working on the same lines they are asking you application based questions application based questions so uh, to tackle all those application based questions concept clarity is a must must thing in which you cannot compromise practicing a lot of questions is the another important thing practicing a lot of questions will actually make a difference you will realize yourself Okay, so at Ecoholics, like uh, when we come to, uh, when we teach, when we go and teach our students, we always tell them that more than the uh, the cramming, more than just making notes, you should focus on attempting a lot of questions. Following this principle, we always stick to you know uh, giving weekly tests to our students. The primary objective of Ecoholics is to help their students to attempt. the questions to practice the questions so that whatever you have learned during the week you can uh, practice that by giving a numerical based a proper exam pattern based weekly test and not only that not only weekly test for each subject is given but a lot of practice papers mock test have to be attempted in order to clear your ugc net examination in the first attempt you know this that clearing the exam in the first exa- attempt of ugc net is a biggest achievement in itself and we at ecoholics make sure that you uh, do that that you achieve the title of being called as a net and grf qualified right so um, i w- i will be telling you so all those people who are going to give the next year attempt that is june 2024 attempt we will be sharing a strategy pdf with you all where we are going to share the strategies which are going to help you in clearing your exam in first attempt so if you want to get that pdf you can uh, message us at the number the number is right there in the comment you can see it in the comment i still repeat the number the number is 7880107880 so all those who are preparing for june 24 attempt i um ask you to send us a message on this number or call us and we will share a strategy pdf so it's free of cost nothing will be uh no money will be taken from you but that pdf is going to help you a lot in your preparation okay so it is going to help you that how do you need to revise how do you need to make notes so these things which are very vital for your preparation will be told by our experienced faculties 
who have been teaching a lot of UGC net students appearing for the exam and a lot of students have qualified under their guidance so that pdf is going to be a mixture of the experiences of the knowledge of all our faculties uh, of ecoholics right so that will definitely help you so please drop us a message on that number we will help you only uh, with that pdf all right so um, talking further so till now we have uh, talked enough about the strategy you have to follow the changes which were basically there uh, which were observed in the december 2023 attempt now we have already talked about these changes the next question which comes to our mind is that how to tackle these what to do now to uh, you know get clear to to clear our examination what measures can now be taken so now i'm sharing the measures you have to take okay the first thing clear your concepts i always emphasize enough on saying that clear your concepts since numericals or any application based question can't be solved unless and until your concepts are not clear how do you clear your concepts pick up your two subjects in which you are lagging the most pick them up do them from scratch the biggest assumption we make in our mind which legs us to not clearing the exam is when we pick up many students have seen if i ask them they will say oh no ma'am i'm very confident with microeconomics and if i go and ask them any question of microeconomics they will uh, face difficulty in answering that which means that they were confident that yes we pre- we are already prepared for microeconomics we know microeconomics but ultimately there has to be you know some preparation which is still required from them so do not let this assumption come into your preparation do not let this uh, assumption that i know this subject come into your preparation make a proper structure of the subjects and choose the two subjects with which you are least comfortable with start doing the concepts from that sub uh, from basically from in that order okay so the two subjects you are not comfortable with the least comfortable with start with them read them like you are doing it for the first time do not hop over the sentences written in the books or anywhere okay so uh, pick up a combination of two two subjects and you will see yourself that not starting multiple subjects just picking up two subjects in one combination is going to help you you will feel more balanced you will feel more organized right so that's the first thing and then i would suggest you that it, you do not have to wait till the completion of your syllabus if you want to practice questions no i don't believe in this theory that you, unless and until your syllabus is not completed you should not practice questions or you should not go through pyqs no that's something you do not have to do because practice has to go hand in hand so as soon as you have done a portion this week you should do its question the same following week itself you should not leave it to the last leaving it to the last is going to uh, you know fall into the trouble it's going to cause you only a lot of problems that's why we have a policy of testing our students in weekly test so that as soon as they are studying from monday to friday they get to know that okay on sunday we are going to give the test and they will know their position that whatever they have learned during the week do they know this are they lagging in this do they need to work more in this area so uh, studying and testing are going hand in hand at ecoholics and that is why a lot of our students are able to clear their 
UGC net examination and that too with GRF, right? So that's the policy which is helping them. That's the uh, that that's the root strategy they are using, which is helping us. And as I told you, that I will be sharing that PDF. We will be sharing that strategy PDF with you all. If you drop us a message on seven eight eight zero one zero. Seven eight eight zero. We will be sharing that PDF with you as well, so you can take benefit of our strategy, and you can also clear your examination. All right. So um, yeah, I was talking about the practice of questions. So practice of questions have to go hand in hand. Now practice of questions have to be in multiple ways, not in just weekly test or full length test. No, that is one other way. So as soon as your one module is completed, let's say you were reading microeconomics, you were reading macroeconomics. As soon as that module is completed, you need to test yourself before you close the books of micro, before you hop on to the next subject. You will first see that how much you have learned from that module, and how will you do that? Only when you See a lot of questions coming from microeconomics only, and not from other subjects. So, how does it help? It helps you to know the status of microeconomics. That do you need to switch to another subject? Is your microeconomics fully prepared, or do you need to come back to it? So, in following this, it will give you the correct idea that whether moving on to the next subject is a good thing to do. Or right now, doing this subject more properly is the correct thing to do. For this, we for this Ecoholics provide module-based practice questions as well. Okay, for this, uh, we provide Ecoholics provide module-based question. So for every module you do, not just the entire microeconomic syllabus. So if you are doing consumer theory. In microeconomics, we give you practice questions for that unit, for that module, so that when you are done with your preparation, when you are done with the concept building of that topic, you know where you are standing. So, in in our textbooks, when we used to be in the school, we used to have uh, exercise questions after each and every chapter. So, similarly, we give our students. Practice questions for each and every unit if they complete that portion. So I believe this thing helps them a lot. So they do not skip any module, thinking ki nahi this is not important. So I will not do it. So that's something they follow. So when you do each and every module in the paper, when anything comes up randomly, you are ready for it because UGC Net does not have a fixed pattern. Ki only this will come or that will come. They can ask you questions on one module majorly, and then ask you nothing from one module. So you have to be ready uh, for each and every module. So this module-wise practice questions help you to. uh do the practice of each and every unit now after you are done with your entire syllabus you can practice the full length mock test which will give you the real examination feeling that you are sitting in the exam hall and you are giving the exam why because when you go into the exam hall directly without giving mock test you know what happens 50 questions come in section a 100 questions come in section b When you do fifty questions, you have a lot of energy. But by the time you start doing the next section, consisting hundred questions, the energy starts falling. We starts get we start getting bored and bored and bored. And by the time maybe we are done with fifty questions of section B, we are like, oh God, let's just do it. Whatever I know, let me just do it because we do not have the practice of doing that. So the full length test provided by Ecoholics. help you to practice attempting 150 questions in a go so you can spare 3 hours of a day and you can take the real examination and that too with complete solutions because we believe that giving the test is important but knowing the correct answer is more important when you are giving the test all right so uh, these are the things we are already following 
So the same things, whatever we are doing, I'm telling you very straightly. I'm not hiding anything from you because there are a lot of people here who are not even our students. But I'm still sharing each and everything which we are doing, which we are helping our students with, which we are asking our students to do. Because no matter what, everyone who is preparing for UGC Net Economics, we feel that we are a community who should help this community, right? So um, we, I'm sharing each and every strategy we are giving our students to you as well, so that you can clear your examination, right? So before we move on to the type of questions which came, like the general overview of the questions, I would like to address any of the queries you have. So if you have any queries, you can drop me a message here and I will be happy to help you with any of the queries here. But if you will follow the strategies I have given you, I have shared right now, no matter what, whatever is the level of the paper, you will be able to clear it because consistency is more important than anything else. So if you are consistent with your preparation, if you're taking up concepts, if you're doing practice daily, so practicing is not one day duty. It's a part of your preparation. So when students come and ask me, ask us basically for the timetables that how do I need to prepare? I always tell them that please utilize your weekends. Weekends are not for your rest because you are already involved into some other stuff. So utilize your weekends. So that is why I say practicing questions is not just one day job. It has to be your duty. It has to be your part of the preparation. All right. So I would like to answer your queries before I move on to the next portion. Chal. Then uh, let's move on to the next portion. Okay. A very nice question. How to improve mathematical economics. So as I was saying in the beginning of this session that Mathematical economics has majorly come in this year paper. And that is the portion where everyone is struggling also. So how to, uh, you know, work with mathematical economics. So mathematical economics is the most easiest subject if you study it sincerely. It's not very difficult. Just understand what the concept has to say. Just understand the logic of the concept. Practice a lot and lot of questions, a lot of questions, fill up your registers. And when you do maths, do not just try to learn the formulas, pick up a notebook, scribble the formulas on notebook. If you do that, if you follow this manner, mathematical economics will be the most easiest subject for you. The next query was uh, from Suhil, microeconomics mein kaun si book? So microeconomics ke liye, uh, if we talk about microeconomics, H.L. Ahuja microeconomics is a really good book. Ovarian is a really good book. So uh, more than any book concept, clarity has to be done. Okay, so if your concepts are clear, you either read it from H.L. Ahuja or Ovarian. Both are go equally good books. So you have to ultimately understand the concept, right? So if you want to go with a simple language one, you should go ahead with HL Ahuja. Okay. Any other query? Okay. All right. So uh, before I move on with the next portion, discussing the questions which actually appeared in 2023 paper, uh, for all those who are going to give the June 2024 attempt, I have a really good news for you all. So Ecoholics, if you are the one attending this live session right now and you wish to give June 2024 attempt, Ecoholics provides you a flat 30% off if you want to enroll with us for UGC net preparation. If you want to clear UGC net plus JRF as well, then we are providing you flat 30% off 
till this sunday only but if you ca- because the prices are increasing uh the prices are going to increase in the next coming days so it's a golden opportunity for all those who are present in the live our batch is starting in january it's going to start in january so it's the appropriate time you start in january and you are ready for the june 24 attempt you do not have to redevise everything we will do everything with in a manner so that whatever you do for the first time remains there in your mind and you are able to perform outstanding in your examination okay all right so uh, all those who are new joiners i would like to tell you that we will we are providing you with a pdf which tells you the strategy that you need to follow for clearing ugc net grf so if you are interested in getting that pdf you can drop us a message on 7880107880 or you can even call us there and for availing the 30% discount you need to get a coupon code for that as well you can call us on the same number 7880107880 right or you can dm us on instagram as well and we will help you out all right so um that's the thing now let's talk about the paper i will just divide the paper of 2023 december into two parts just two parts and the entire paper was done numerical theory and that to indian economy like it was very um you know sh- not shocking i would say but it was very different thing to see in the ugc net pattern this year that suddenly the paper was all about numerical and indian economy majorly so uh, all those who have given this 2023 attempt december 23 attempt must know the kind of the paper so the questions some of the questions which came for, from theory were very direct like they were directly asking you what is a repo rate who was the governor of rbi like these very easy questions and uh, when it came to um, little bit more complex questions those were not theory based those were more of application based so they are talking about the concept and they are talking about the application of that in indian economy this year it was being seen that um a lot of match the following the chronology questions were there so chronology has been a favorite part of ugc net to test the students on so uh, that was there and you know i i we always provide our students with the the chronologies that is who were the economists in which year did they came what were the committees what were the scheme so uh, we have always provided our students with this data so that they do not have to struggle finding it on internet and making a list on their own so this year it was being prevalent that the scheme the government schemes question was there committees the question was there okay and then economists the question was there the school, economic theories basically the keynesian classical marxism the questions were there so can you like when i just had a look at the paper when i just get to know about the paper i was very happy that the students of ecoholics must be able to attempt these complex questions just because they had access to these data easily because in ugc net collecting data on your own becomes a very 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 difficult task to do okay we have one query from suhil again ma'am syllabus change hua hai economics mein नहीं सिलेबस ऐसे चेंज नहीं हुआ द द टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दे आर आस्किंग इज चेंजिंग बट इट्स नॉट अबाउट द सिलेबस ओके सो ओके सो आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एंड क्रोनोलॉजिकल क्वेश्चंस सो इन क्रोनोलॉजिकल क्वेश्चंस दे वर आस्किंग दे वर देयर वर स्कीम्स गिवन and then there was a chronology being asked by them that arranged them in the order in which your did with scheme was implemented right and um, along with that rbi governor you know from the rbi governor there were two questions one was 
asking governor and one was the chronological order of the rbi governors right so that was there economic theories se question aaya tha there was a question from economic theories like you have to arrange the economic theories according to their time period like when did keynes appear when did classical appear when did neo classical appear right uh, the reading comprehensions which were seen this year were very conceptual based those were easy not very difficult one was again from the school of thoughts the political economy i would say and the other one was related to the gdp gdp deflators related that was there then paper had questions related to human development index poverty index that was there questions from macroeconomics were also seen instruments of money market foreign exchange so there was one question that was a really nice question although i would say because abhi tak till this point in ugc it was being visible that bahut hi zyada na like very very redundant kind of questions were being asked also which do not make any sense but this year when i was seeing the application based questions it was very nice to see as a as someone who is teaching students economics like who is teaching economics and when you see actual real meaning questions that was really nice to see because no one would like to answer redundant questions which do not make sense when you go as a professor or when you go for research when you have to come at this level of being a professor or uh, being a researcher you have to have that uh, thinking capabilities so there was this question i was talking about okay let let me first take a message has come okay karan is asking black market is good or bad for a country please clear ma'am so karan regarding this this is a very long discussion here so uh, for this we can definitely connect with you for a uh, discussion we can help you with this query uh the number is there on the screen you can drop us a query on this number and uh, we will help you with the answer we will give you proper answer analyzing the goods and bads of the black market okay okay there is one more message i think ma'am paper was not tough i would say but it was more lengthy yeah so paper was not tough for the students who know their concept but anyone who has not done the concept doing such an application based paper was not easy lengthy paper is always lengthy like lengthy in the sense 100 questions are themselves a lengthy thing but if of course there has to be a lot of statements there has to be a lot of understanding in numerical so paper automatically become lengthy so yes paper was not difficult i am also not saying that but it has to be tackled carefully that is what it means so i was telling you about a very beautiful question which appeared in the paper that was about that foreign exchange data was given so there was some data given to foreign exchange uh, rates so it was also um, what are the imports what are the exports so the question asked you the steps that can be taken to reduce the import and increase the export see how beautifully whatever you have learned in economics you can apply that to answer such questions if i had to go and give this exam as a student i would be very happy to see such question like oh at least someone is asking me that what can i do on the basis of my knowledge then there was also one question related to foreign exchange rate where it was being told ki okay in the future this is the predicted rate of dollar that is going to go so what can rbi do what measures rbi can take to tackle this problem that dollar is going to rise in the future okay so uh, suhil so indian economy ke liye hum kaun si book padhe dekho for indian economy i would not name just one book there has to be a mixture of reading material so you ca- cannot just rely on one book for indian economy if you want to appear ugc net examination it has to be a mixture of lot and lot reading material so for helping you in that we give our students always we give a collated study material where we give them that they do not have to flip over different books they just have study material with themselves they read it they read through that and their job is done so i can't take the name of just one book because reading only one book is not going to literally do the job for indian economy so i will not guide you in the wrong direction hmm. 
मिनिमम मार्क्स फॉर जे आर एफ सो लास्ट लास्ट अटेम्प्ट जून ट्वेंटी थ्री में द जे आर एफ कट ऑफ फॉर द अनरिजर्व कैटेगरी लाइक आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी रिजर्वेशन बट विदाउट रिजर्वेशन द जे आर एफ कट ऑफ वेंट अराउंड सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी the cut off marks for grf were 188 so that those were the cut off marks okay there is one i'm pursuing bs economics from iit bombay what pathway should i follow for this finance and eco jobs so shiva for that uh, for this thing it totally depends upon your interest whether you want to go for masters you want to go to for a job in economics okay so that will just distract us from the topic here that that was the thing one question also appeared on externality right uh, that was the thing uh, one one more question seen from current affairs was that was related to the new education nep the education policy the new education policy current affair based question was also seen in this paper then i told you committee based the scheme based and and one more question one kind of question was there which was the university names were given allahabad university university of delhi and they were asking you to arrange them in the order according to the year of their origin so that was a different kind of question seen this year like that is something very much based on the your general knowledge so ugc is really testing students to to be an all rounder so you just cannot use your old strategy of reading books of reading just just handful of notes and going and clearing the exam no this time for the june 24 attempt the strategy will be totally 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 different and that strategy i have already told in this session if in case you have missed the beginning of the session we will share the strategy pdf with you if you message us on 7880107880 okay there was also one census based question right so uh at ecoholics we will help you with all such things we do the pyq discussion as well so discussing pyqs is very important when you are preparing for any competitive examination because unless and until you do not know about what was there in the past how can you prepare for the future right so PYQ discussion is a very vital part of Ecoholics classes, Ecoholics UGC Net course. So if you plan to enroll with us, you can fetch this opportunity of getting a thirty percent off today till uh, Sunday. Okay, for that you need to just get a coupon code which you can get by messaging us on the number shared on your screens or you can DM us. on instagram as well okay there is one question okay so uh, there is one question if price rises shifting lm curve ad curve will shift down towards left is it true ma'am so that's a long like that's a complete procedure that when the prices are changing if there is no change in money supply of course the lm curve will be affected and if lm curve is affected the islm equilibrium will change and definitely the ad will shift okay so ad is going to shift left i i hope with left you mean to say upwards so oh, yeah uh what according to you would be the cut off for general so for net last in the last attempt of june the cut off was 170 for net and 188 for grf so if we follow the same average uh grf cut off was lesser last in the last attempt it used to be 196 192 earlier so we can hope around 185 190 between 185 and 190 for grf and similarly 170 to 180 for net that can be the cut off taking the average okay so in this session i hope you have got to know the changes which have come in ugc net so ugc net ka level has become difficult if we compare it to the previous level previous years earlier ugc was a very easy paper if you know concept you can just go and attempt it but now 
just knowing concepts is not the only thing you need to practice questions and you can always come to us for that we will provide you with a lot and lot and lot of questions we have a huge question bank for our students so you can always uh, come to us for getting that because if you do questions if you solve a lot of questions i can give like i can guarantee that you can clear the grf as well in the first attempt okay so msqe exam nikhil so nikhil has a query about msqe exam so that is not something of course related to the session for getting more or uh, like to talk about this to get guidance on this you can call us at 7880107880 uh, but we do help students to clear the msqe exam for isi so yeah you can definitely come to us we do provide help for ma entrance examinations as well in any case anyone is preparing for that yes uh, there were questions from poverty index hdi se bhi tha i hope i have not missed anyone's query so that was all i wanted to share with you all so i will just uh, i would like to just give one very important tip a very important trick to basically to share with all the students who are going to attempt in june 24 be consistent with your studies do not take it lightly lightly it's not a joke it's not a joke so just do not take it lightly if you want a path if you want someone to move with you on your path always remember ecoholics is there for you right from the day you enroll with us till the day you have your exam and even afterwards we are always walking with you on your side so if you feel that no i need someone with me on this journey then always remember ecoholics is there we are just a call away we are just a message away so just take us as your friends okay and just drop us a message just call us and we will be more than happy to help you guys right so i have already discussed the questions which have appeared in the in this year basically in this a paper which was there in december 23 i have shared the strategies you now require the switch the change in the trend which have been observed in this attempt now more focus towards numerical so do not forget to do the numericals it's my sincere request that do not stop practicing the numericals increase your practice level up kar lo don't decrease it now mathematical economics uh, what do you want to ask saurabh about, about about the mathematical economics so we do help with mathematical economics we are teaching those students mathematical economics who have never studied mathematics in their uh, life after the 10th class so at ecolix we help students from scratch we even teach you the concepts required for the school level first if you are the one who do not no mathematics so we even do that so that none of our student feel lacked during the class that is our policy that every student demand should be catered to every student should feel a part they should feel the happiest when they are with us so we do not only provide the content for economics it's not only that we come and teach but as i told we are your friends as well we help you along with your preparation we are always here to motivate you for mathematical economics uh, you can refer to ac chiang and i will say more than referring to any book first you should clear your concepts like uh, when i teach mathematical economics i always say first attend these classes first make notes and you will not require any book to read everything will be covered but yes if you want to do some sort of self study then uh, that can be done from ac chiang that's a good book to do 
if you need any help from us if you need any ebook from us if you need any material from us please message us on the number shared on your screen and we are going to help you if you need any counseling if you need if you have any queries if you have any questions in your mind for the exam whether it is for this exam or whether it is for the other exam we are here so when i'm saying that we are here with you we are here for you i actually mean it we the entire team of ecoholics mean it so uh, please drop us a message i hope oh, i have not left any query in between in case you any one of you has any query please uh, drop your messages here as we have reached the end of our life life so we are going to end it now the live will be ending in 2 to 3 minutes so please drop your queries quickly as possible okay so shrinath has a query ma'am how you conduct classes in your app how you provide material what was the course fee so shrinath classes happen live and you get recordings as well that's the best thing even if you miss live you have the recording we provide hard copy material we have a printed material we have booklets for you we send the material to your place wherever you are living we share a lot and lot of material even when the classes are going on whenever a teacher comes and then they tell you that this is the reference material they share it with you notes are shared with you uh the course fee can be seen on our website as well as you can talk with our counselor for the same the number is there on your screen you can talk it there and also you will get 30% off in your fee so yeah a good opportunity for you imtiaz which economics book economics has a lot of subject micro macro and lot of them which book do you want to know the name for okay i hope uh this session has been quite useful for you all those who are preparing who are going to prepare for 24 june attempt will find this session useful who all gave their 23 attempt and are willing to give the exam again they are also getting some hope to start their preparation again so if we can be of any help to you please come to us please drop us a message we really want to help students who are starting economics to achieve their dreams so please uh, let us know eligibility of ies exam yes so this is a little off site question but yes we have ies courses with us for which you need to be masters in economics or masters um if you have done masters but major subject should be economics applied economics should be there so if you are doubtful about your eligibility drop us a message on this number and we will tell you whether you are eligible for ies or not and we will help you for the ies preparation as well for macroeconomics i will say hl hoja macroeconomics or r frown is also a very good book so you can do that arifa fees you can see on our website 30% off is running drop us a message we will help you with entire details in just uh whatsapp chat only you do not even have to scroll you do not even have to browse we will help you just drop us a message so shivpal a uh, recorded video ko you can watch till one year one year till the time your course is with you till the time you have uh, our course it's going to be there so one year tak you can watch the recorded video So, if a class is happening today, you can watch it till thirteen December two thousand twenty four. Yes, definitely, Raj. We have separate course for econometrics. So, if you want to study econometrics, you can take that course where we have uh, basic plus advanced classes for econometrics, which will help you to excel your skills of econometrics. okay our separate classes for different modules kavya so uh, classes of course we have different experienced faculties for different subject we uh, have proper structured classes 
so you will have separate classes for separate subjects it's not that in one class you are studying everything of course not it's a proper thing so one faculty will teach you microeconomics other faculty will teach you macroeconomics on the basis of their uh experienced modules okay so mam your course prices are very high low profile or low background student can't even think of buy so shankar uh course prices are not very high it's the quality we are providing we are charging for our quality you know when you enroll with us from the beginning till the end we are with you we are giving you live classes we are giving you recorded classes we are giving you study material we are giving you weekly test with solutions we are giving you unit wise test we are giving you mock test right we are giving you assistance by the faculties you can have mentorship with our with your faculties there is unlimited doubt resolution for our students 24 hours me you get the solution the faculties are there for you for solving your doubts the entire team so we are providing a lot of content in that to little fees so it's not high and in case someone cannot afford it they have a chance 30% off does not happen regularly so it's a chance uh, to get into this high quality course of ugc net offered by ecoholics so now you can avail it at 30% off and you will yourself realize that what is the difference between ugc net course provided by us um uh, in comparison to the market okay so there is a difference when we say we mean it we provide a lot of content we give you current affairs like even you get a lot of extra things promise thing you get whatever we promise to give you whatever we promise to offer you that is something you will always get but we give you extra things also a lot of study material we share with you paper discussion happens pyq discussion happens wherever you are stuck we help you no kave separate courses are not available for ugc net you can avail the entire ugc net course the prices are very low due to 30% off if you are attending the live so that will be more beneficial Mm hmm. Uh, Ram, for that test series, yes, we do have test series. Uh, for the students, so for the test series, you can get in touch with the team, and if you have already taken the test series for increasing validity or for um uh, talking about the terms and everything, you can talk to us. You can talk to your counselor. <clears throat> any other one do you teach in hindi so uh we the major medium is english only because our students come from diverse backgrounds so english is the medium which they do understand but yes of course if you are studying with us if you are not understanding anything we do explain it in hindi along with that but that's only when you are not able to understand something only but lectures are only in english maybe one thing i can make you understand in hindi ki ye samajh nahi aaya to ek line hindi mein bol di but the lectures are in english but yes the those are understandable recordings are available you can watch it at your own pace talk to teachers in hindi that's not a restriction so ram has a query so ram for that uh test series and batches have their own validity and it depends upon the validity you have taken but no worries you can get in touch with the counselor and they will help you So Shankar um I believe now after 30% off you can definitely afford our courses so in that case as well please connect with our counselor on 7880107880 and they will help you don't worry just get in touch with us we will figure out some way cut off kavya can go around for grf it can go around uh, 185 to 190 and for net again it can go around 170 to 180 that's something you can expect okay so
so all right uh, i hope we you all had a great session in this live you learned a lot of things now uh if you have any queries as i told you please get in touch with us at 7880107880 you can dm us on dm us on instagram and we will be more than happy to help you uh if you are our student we will meet in classes to take your queries and we will help you to clear the june 24 attempt of ugc net examination so i will see you guys and uh for any queries please contact us uh there is one query regarding fees for economics optional paper for upsc as i said the fees are available on the website and again you can drop us a message and you can talk to our team you can talk to the counselors who will help you about the fees who will give you discounts as well you can so this is a great chance for you all who are there in live session you can get your coupon codes to avail discounts on all our courses okay so we are we will give you a discounts a discount on our courses if you are the one attending the live lectures just get your coupon codes from the team dm us or message us on the number present on your screens here okay thank you for joining everyone i believe you had a great time here discussing about the ugc net strategy i just repeat last time that um before i end the live session i repeat that we will be sharing strategy pdf with you all which will help you in preparation of ugc net if you drop us a message on the number shared in the com comment seen on your screen all right so bye everyone all the best for your examination and ecoholics is there to help you just uh, drop us a message and we will be here for your help